Hi, and welcome to the Wayne County Probate Court. This video will guide you in filling out form PC669, Proof of Restricted Account. And before we get started, this video is not legal advice. It's for informational purposes only. If you have questions specific to your situation, you must seek legal counsel. So I will first bring you to the form and here's the Wayne County Probate Court website homepage, www.wcpc.us. In the middle, you'll see probate information. Click on that link. You'll see how to administer a Wayne County probate case on the left. Click there. And then you'll see the various case types. This relates to a conservatorship. And there is training for newly appointed conservators. Pull that up for you. And when you search PC 669, here is where it's first referenced. Proof of restricted account annual verification of funds for a minor conservatorship. And if you simply highlight that, and do a search. I'm going to do a web search. You'll see the link to form PC669, and you'll want to double check that it is the actual Courts of Michigan, which is www.courts.michigan.gov. When you click on that link, it brings up the form, and you'll be you can begin to fill it out right on your computer. I have an annotated one here that we can use to walk through filling this out. This will be signed by the financial institution and not by the petitioner or the conservator. However, the conservator can fill some of the information out to get it started for the bank. And you do that on the left by putting Wayne as the county, the case number, and the judge. These are just examples. You want to input your specific case number and your actual judge, the court address, the telephone number, in the matter of this is the person over whom a conservatorship has been appointed. Then you'll see this note here in the uh, upper middle. This form must be completed and filed with the court within 28 days of the conservator's qualification. And that is calculated based on the filing of the acceptance of appointment form with the court or as otherwise ordered by the court and annually thereafter. So there are annual filings. This must be filed annually with the court. Then the uh, whatever financial institution, open the account for the conservatorship. That information goes here, the address of the bank, the telephone number, the person who was authorized at the bank, and the title of that person. Again, this is all example information. You need to fill out what the actual information that's relevant to your case. Then it says, I certify that the estate funds of the minor are currently on deposit with us under a restricted account as follows. They will fill out the account type, the last four digits of the account number, the balance in the account, and the account caption, how the account is titled. Then it says, a copy of the corresponding financial institution statement accompanies this proof of restricted account. You'll see an asterisk down below here. The asterisk says, for annual verification, the corresponding financial institution statement must be dated within 30 days after the end of the annual accounting period. So it has to be very close, within a month, to when the accounting period expired. Then it further says, I further certify that the funds, including accruals, shall not be released or withdrawn except by written order of this court. 
Records have been marked to prohibit withdrawal except by written order of this court. We are liable for funds released or withdrawn without written order of this court. Date and signed by the authorized representative of the bank. And then I highlighted down here, all court forms have references to either statutes, and in this case, court rules. And if you simply highlight MCR 5.409 and do a web search, you'll see the Michigan Court Rules. Chapter 5 brings you right to the correct chapter. You'll want to go to the correct subchapter, in this case, 5.4. And then this particular form references 5.409, which is here. And there is the relevant court rule governing this form. So that is how you fill out form PC669. We put this together at the Wayne County Probate Court because we care. Have a great day.